and killed two Kissimmee police officers back in 2017. And today, a judge decided that man will pay for those murders with his life. Everett Miller was sentenced to death, and this has been a long, dragged out case. A judge handed down the final decision this afternoon. West Shoes Kelsey Thord was at the Osceola County Courthouse for that hearing. And Kelsey, what was it like inside the room when the judge announced the sentence? Well, Stu, there were actual audible gasps from people in the courtroom when that judge read that death sentence. The courtroom was packed with family members of both of these officers, as well as several officers and representatives of the Kissimmee Police Department. The hearing itself, though, really did not that last that long. It was very short, only lasting about five minutes. And during that time, the judge read each conviction aloud, ending with the two murder convictions of Kissimmee Police Officer Matthew Baxter and Sergeant Sam Howard sentencing in the end Everett Miller to death for their killings. A jury had recommended the judge sentence Miller to death after they found him guilty of shooting and killing Officer Baxter and Sergeant Howard as they were checking on a group of people while on the job back in 2017. After the hearing, we heard from Kissimmee's police chief as well as some of the officer's family. We are extremely grateful that justice has been served. This has been a very long and difficult process for everybody involved. Two lives were lost and they will never be here. So I'm just so grateful for all of those who dedicated their heart, their hearts into this case. Now, Miller does have the right to appeal this sentence. That is something that, if it happens, will happen in the next month. Prosecutors say they are always prepared for an appeal to happen in cases like this. Now, Miller's family was also in the courtroom today. They declined to speak with us after the hearing. In Osceola County, I'm Kelsey Thord. Back to you guys. Kelsey, thank you. This case happened all the way back in 2017, and we want to give you a quick recap. This is the first picture release of Miller. On that night of August 18th, Kissimmee police responded to suspicious, suspicious activity. There was some sort of scuffle. Everett Miller shot Officer Matthew Baxter and Sergeant Sam Howard. Now, the police chief at the time says the two died protecting their community. 27-year-old Baxter was married to a detective, his youngest child just seven months old at the time. Baxter died at that scene. Howard was taken to the hospital and died the next afternoon. The Snapchat video was released as part of that case months later. That's Miller in the white tank top. You see Baxter call Howard for backup, then moments later, calls like these. Somebody just shot two cops outside my house. Officers told investigators they tried to save their fellow officers' lives at that scene. Miller was arrested later that night inside of a bar. And then Florida Governor Rick Scott reassigned the case from State Attorney Aramis Ayala to State Attorney Brad King because Ayala announced that she would not seek the death penalty in a similar case. Miller's trial didn't start until August of 2019. He was found guilty in September, and it took the jury less than an hour to return the guilty verdict. The death recommendation came down a little over a month later. Fast forward hearings and competency hearings, and in 2020, the pandemic delayed the case. They were formally sentencing Miller to the death penalty. It took the judge six months to make that decision. Miller and his legal team still have time to appeal. We have been following this case since the very beginning. You can read more about it online right now inside of WESH.com.